Ever heard of the Orlando Rage? Yes, they're just a footnote in the history of Central Florida sports, but some folks are taking a second look at the Rage and their spring football league thanks to an ESPN documentary on the XFL. You see, the Rage were our city's team in the XFL, a wrestling-inspired football league that lasted, thankfully, only a season. Back in 2001, Vince McMahon of the WWE partnered with NBC to launch a new football league in eight cities. It was an attempt to bring the entertainment elements of pro wrestling to pro football. At first, it seemed like a great idea, and Orlando loved the XFL, with more than 36,000 fans turning out to watch the first game at the Citrus Bowl. And among those popular attractions of the game were the Orlando Rage cheerleaders, who would go on to hold a special place in the history of the league, but we'll have more on that in a second. As for the actual football side of the Rage, that was pretty respectable. Former Florida Gators coach Galen Hall coached the Rage and put together a team that would post the best regular season record. And that was more difficult than you might imagine, given the league was a little different than traditional football. All right, first the good. The XFL did some interesting innovations, like having cameramen on the field to get viewers close to the action, the use of sky cams overhead, which have become a staple of NFL games today, and not having kicks after touchdowns. Those are pretty good ideas. Here's a bad one, doing away with the coin toss. Instead of doing the coin toss, the XFL had two opposing players race across the field and try and gain possession of the football. In Orlando's first game, cornerback Hassan Samsuddin dislocated his shoulder trying to get the ball, and he missed the rest of the season. Oh, and there were just plain embarrassing ideas. In a desperate ploy to increase sagging ratings during one of the rageous primetime games on NBC, Vince McMahon of the Peacock Network kept teasing viewers about taking cameras inside the locker room of the Orlando Rage cheerleaders at halftime. Ooh. But even that bit of titillation didn't help the league. Orlando made it to the first round of the playoffs, losing by a point to the San Francisco Demons. The Demons, in turn, were exercised by the Los Angeles Extreme in the Million Dollar Championship game. And as for the XFL, well, it was gone after one pretty interesting season. For OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm Roger Simmons.